Will I get sick of all of these clothes within two weeks? A hundred percent. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jemima. And next week I am going on a three month trip. I am so excited for it. I just finished packing. So I figure I'm gonna give a little tour of what I'm taking on this trip. I'm going to a lot of different places, different climates, different activities, seeing Taylor Swift, going hiking, hanging out by the beach. It's like a bunch of different stuff, which is great for me personally, but it does make it a little bit hard to pack, especially because I, I'm a carry-on only girl. I hate checking luggage. So this is the bag that I'm taking for my three month trip. I love this backpack. I've been traveling with it for I think like five years and I, it always it always serves me well. It is a 40 liter bag from Kathmandu. I know there's definitely like better ones out there with different straps and like side pockets, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, this one serves me so well. I love that you can lay it flat and then sort of unzip the whole thing, which makes it really easy to pack and unpack and like find things in. So I know that most people do like packing videos, but I'm gonna do more of a tour of my backpack. I did try to do a packing video yesterday, but it was really chaotic. I think I just had too much caffeine and it was like really all over the place. I was sweaty. It just like didn't work well. So let's try again. I'm gonna show you what's inside my packed bag. So a quick rundown of the itinerary in case you're curious. We are flying into Arizona, seeing Taylor Swift in Phoenix on opening night. I'm so excited. And then my boyfriend and I are flying to Panama for 10 days because he's a surfer. So we're going to Bocas del Toro, which is like a pretty cool surfing spot. Then we're heading to Mexico to a place that we actually went to last year, but we're just gonna spend a month there. I'm gonna still be working, but we're just gonna be like living by the beach, surfing, eating tacos, drinking margaritas you know, the usual. Then at the end of April, I'm flying back to the US. I'm going to hopefully Atlanta. I'm thinking of flying into Atlanta because I've never been there and I really want to go. Then heading to Nashville to see Taylor Swift again. Then my friend and I, I'm so excited about this. We are going to be heading up to Seattle and renting a van and then driving around for like two weeks hiking and like checking out the little towns and cities. So keen for that. Then at the end of May, we are flying to New York City seeing Taylor Swift again. This may sound a little bit extravagant. Why are you seeing Taylor Swift so many times? It's not, if you know me, like this isn't extravagant. This is like a pretty normal um, occurrence in my life. For the last few weeks of my trip, I just booked tickets. Actually, I haven't booked them yet, but I've just decided that I'm gonna quickly pop over to Europe. That sounds so dumb, like pop over to Europe, but I found like a $400 flight to Berlin um, from New York. And my brother lives in Switzerland. So I'm gonna go visit him there and we're just gonna like, I don't know, do something, go somewhere, I'm not sure where yet. So the real issue here is packing for the beach, packing to look good in a city, packing for like living in a van and hiking, packing for going to a place in Europe that I haven't figured out yet. It's just like a lot of different things to fit into a small bag. I wanna be able to dress up, but I also don't wanna have a big bag. So this is something that I have been working on for so long and like honing my packing methods, I guess. So I know some people travel with their bags, like big bags like this, and then also like a little personal backpack. I don't do that and we'll get into why in just a minute. The one number one thing I reckon is key for packing everything into a small space, but also keeping it neat and tidy is to segment everything. So I've really only got like five or six things in here because I've got packing cubes, because I've got a special container for my electronics, because I've got toiletry bags, you know, it's really just like neat and tidy. The worst thing for me is opening up a suitcase and it's just like clothes everywhere. Oh, it's stressful. <sighs> right on top, I have the things that I'm going to want while I am on the plane or while I'm in the airport, which is my laptop which is my headphones. It's also my phone charger, which is not in here because my phone is currently charging. And it is my liquid toiletries, which need to be checked in security. Also, of course, my Kindle, which is um, an absolute necessity. I read a lot, so I always need to have this with me. So basically, as soon as I get to the airport, like just after I check in, I'll just quickly open up my bag, pull out this handy tote bag that I've got, put my toiletries, my computer, and my earphones in here so that while I'm just like walking through the airport and I get to security I don't have to like unzip everything and it's like really stressful I've just got them all here then once I get back through security I just put like my toiletries back in my big bag and I've just got in my tote bag the things that I need with me 
in my seat on the plane. It's kind of perfect because then you sit down and you just like take out the things you need and you put it in the um, seat pocket in front of you and you just like scrunch up your bag and you chuck it under the seat and then like you don't have shit everywhere, you know? Of course, I also always have my water bottle with me. I've been on a quest to find the perfect water bottle for so long. I want it to be at least a liter so I can drink a lot of water. I want it to be like not too big so that I can still hold it pretty easily. I obviously don't want it to leak. I love those like metal ones, but that's too heavy. This one is perfect. It's from Camelback. And the best thing is you can um, buy like replacement lids and straws. So I've had this for about a year and the straws are a bit like ick. So I just bought a replacement lid for that without having to get a whole new bottle. Oh, I love this bottle so much. It's really, really good. And of course, leak proof. Love that. So that's always in my tote bag as well. Yes, you can't take liquids through security, but you can take empty bottles and fill it up on the other side. And we have my beloved Uniqlo bag. I love this bag so much. When I filmed like my packing video yesterday, I like did a little demonstration of how many things you can fit in here, which I'll just put here. I'm gonna grab random things from around my room to show you. I've got a Nintendo Switch, got my phone, great. Some mints, gonna need that. Pen, sure, we're gonna need that. Some deodorant, don't wanna get stinky. Backpack in case we go shopping and we need to buy some stuff. A hat in case it stops being sunny and I wanna take it off my head. My glasses in case I need to drive and I need to see somewhere. Oh, let's just put in my um, sleeping pajamas in case I spend the night somewhere without expecting it. Put in a little claw clip in case I get hot when I put my hair up. It really fits everything. Like there's still broom and it doesn't look bulky and annoying. I've worn it with like a dress and sandals or, like on a night out. Like I wear this bag all the time. It is so handy. And right now it has my swimmers and my towel inside it just because um, I like to shove everything inside things when packing a bag because it's more sufficient. Efficient, that's the word. I usually just always have like a normal big toiletry bag that I travel with, but this trip I've decided to invest in some clear plastic ones so that I don't have to like, switch all my liquids to a plastic bag when I'm going through security. I bought three of these off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Sorry to support Amazon, but um, your gal just booked a three month trip, so I need to save money where I can. But I wish they were a little bigger because obviously I've got to now be using two to fit everything. And I'm pretty sure some airports, or most airports, you can only have one bag of liquids. Um, but that's fine, because I'll just get my boyfriend to take this one. So obviously you can buy like small travel versions of like, your favorite shampoos and whatever, but I find it's just easier to sort of get little size bottles and decant your stuff into here. I've got four of these little bottles off Amazon again, sorry. I just put in here my shampoo, my conditioner, face cleanser, and my facial moisturizer. Really handy, they kind of like fit all together in there, barely take up any space. Or as I feel when you buy like small plastic travel bottles, they can be pretty like chunky and take up a lot of space. So that just fits in the bottom of that. Obviously I've got deodorant because I don't want to be stinky. Roll-on is just so good for travel. Better for the planet, I think. Are aerosols still bad for the planet? I don't know. Um, but this is like way better for traveling and it's small. Then a couple of other things that I just always travel with. Olaplex hair oil. I know this is like a bit of a like bougie TikTok girly kind of thing, but my hair gets really, really tangled, especially when I'm at the beach and I've got heaps of salt going on in my hair. So I just always put a couple drops in this every time I wash it and it just makes my hair a lot better. I always, always, always have some kind of facial oil because I get sunburnt pretty easily, even if I wear SPF 50. But if I get like a little bit pink at night i'll put on facial oil and it just like cures my skin like the next day it won't be pink at all it won't be peeling the worst thing is having a sunburn on holiday i usually always use rosehip oil or jojoba oil i recently found this manuka oil at a indigenous craft market and it's made by this grandma who was really lovely a little sunscreen this one is just from bondi sands i also really recommend la roche posay they have a really good sunscreen that comes in a small bottle and it's like a really liquidy sunscreen so it goes on really well doesn't make you sweaty doesn't make your eyes sting it's like a like youtube tutorial girly. Finally, I've just got some uh, vitamin C serum because I'm getting old and I need this on my skin at night time to keep myself looking good. In my other bag, I have a bar of soap just because it's easier to travel with than body wash. It's going to last longer and it's not a liquid. I've got hydrolyte because it's just always good to travel with these. It's just an electrolyte tablet, which is good for hangovers and if you're like really hot and sweaty or if you get some kind of gross food poisoning or whatever. Toothpaste, which I am realizing is not the toothpaste I'm gonna to be taking because this is 100 grams, so I have to um, swap that out for a smaller one that I've got. Oh, there it is, that's the little one I'm taking, there you go. Hair ties, and then I've just got random makeup. I've got foundation, waterproof mascara, I've got some bronzer, and finally, 
This stuff is so good if you are planning to like travel and wear makeup and you need a good makeup remover. This is a balm it, or it's called like a cleansing butter. It's from the body shop and I've been using this for like three or four years now. If you watched my solid toiletries video, which I filmed like in 2019, this is the only thing that I'm still using from then. Like I, I bought a new one since and I keep using it. Rub it on your face like a moisturizer almost and then use a normal cleanser to wash it off and all your makeup comes off. It's so good. This is, I find, the perfect size to travel with. All right, that is toiletries done. Next, oh, I forgot to mention this, but I've also got my Nintendo Switch, which will be going in my airport bag because I'm addicted to playing Switch. Right now I'm playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yes, I'm a child. Uh, it's such a good game. I really love it. My towel, well, I have tried a few different types of towels for traveling. I really recommend a brand called Tessellate, which are Australian. Repel sand, they dry really quickly, and they, like, roll up teeny tiny but this trip i have a turkish towel this is also like super super quick dry it rolls up tiny and it also makes a good picnic blanket as well this is from a brand called samimi i'll just link everything that i mentioned down in the description box below if you are interested then i've got two bikinis one which is like pretty and nice and like i can wear like in the pool and like sitting around and then i've got a black one from bonds which is a bit more sturdy and i can like run around in it and i can go surfing and stuff without being exposed, you know? Just also on this top layer of stuff, I have a hat because I like to be sun safe. Got my glasses for seeing things because I need them to drive and see things that are like not even that far away. I'm quite blind. Very Mary Poppins bag right now. Like I'm just pulling things out like woo, woo, woo. But it does make sense. So I've got a packing cube on the bottom and then everything else kind of like layers on top, like Tetris. Everything's got its own little place. Next up, we have my electronics. I used to keep all my tech stuff in a little carry bag and just shove it in my bag and everything got tangled. It was messy. I hated it. So for my birthday, I got this organizer from Taz and Tez. It's so nice. I just feel like like luxurious with this. I feel like a businesswoman. It just keeps everything so neat and tidy. So up here I've got all my charging cord, phone charger, my switch, my computer charger, my Kindle, etc, etc. And then down here I've just got adapters, I've got my camera charger, I've got my external storage. One thing I'll say is also super handy to have, especially if you're going away for quite a while, is instead of carrying around an adapter like this, I got a, um, just like, I don't know what these are called. You know, you plug your your USB charger into it and then you plug it into the wall instead of having to go through another adapter I just bought one that fits the plugs in the US and Mexico it's just one step less of things to do I also I'm really excited about this I just bought a new portable charger because while we are gonna be in the van I'm still gonna have to work but we're not gonna have electricity so I have this which has a full MacBook Air charge it's got four iPhone chargers in it which is perfect I've also just got like a normal um, portable charger that has like one charger that I can carry around with me. Love this electronic bag so much. Really recommend getting it if you're someone who just chucks things in your bag and you're like, where's my charger? I don't know. All right, all we have left are my shoes and my clothes. There's like a little shoe section on the side of this bag, which is really good. I've got in here my trusty Birkenstocks. I have recently been converted to these and I love them. And I've also got my cons going on walks or like walk around a city or whatever, but I don't want to wear full on joggers. I bought these for my trip to Mexico last time and I accidentally bought ones that have extra padding and they're really really soft which make them so much better for walking around in the normal converse. I've also got like proper running shoes which I wear on the plane. Always wear your biggest shoes on the plane and I'm just gonna be wearing that with some long black leggings a t-shirt that is currently in the wash, the one jumper I'm taking, which I will probably live to regret, but jumpers just take up so much space that I'm only gonna take one. I'm thinking if I get to Seattle and I'm like, oh my God, it's actually like very cold here, I'll probably just go to a thrift store and buy some cheap, warm clothing and then either post it home or donate it again before I leave, something like that. I just don't wanna carry warm clothes in my bag for two months when I'm gonna be really hot, you know? Okay, finally, we have all my clothes. These are all the clothes that I'm taking on this trip. For my first big trip that I did, I went to Europe and I packed all these like nice dresses because I was like, oh, I want to be able to like look cute in photos and get those like beautiful like dress pics. And I was like going out with my friends in London. And I wanted to like be able to dress up. But what it meant was that I was really just like carrying around clothing that I would wear like maybe once a month and it just wasn't worth it. So this trip, I really, really, really tried to like 
pare it down to the essentials, but still make those essentials like be able to all work together. So I've got a lot of different outfits and still have a few like nice outfits for going out. I never used to be a packing cube person. I used to think, no, nah, I don't need that. And then I got them and I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I bought like a pack of five ages ago, like a really long time ago. I think this is the only one that I have left. At least I can't find the other ones. They were all different sizes, but this one is a perfect size. It fits everything I need in here. Also makes me not overpack because if not everything fits in here, then I know Okay, I need to like cull some stuff. So I don't think I need to go through like every piece of clothing that I'm taking But basically what I've gone for is one pair of denim shorts This pair of shorts can be nighttime can be daytime. I've got three pairs of active wear shorts five t-shirts I've got a mix of crop tops and oversized so that I can wear them with different things and get different vibes Most of the time in Mexico I'm honestly just gonna be wearing bike shorts and t-shirts or bike shorts and sports bras because it's so hot One nice dress will do on a couple of date nights. I think also like once I get to New York, maybe we'll go out a few times. So I want to look kind of nice. I found my old thermals from when I was in Europe, which is perfect because I'm probably going to need these somewhere in Seattle, but they're so good because they roll up really tiny. If you need thermals, I really recommend the ones from Uniqlo because they're pretty cheap, but they're so warm. I wore this with just a hoodie in Scotland when it was like one degree and I was warm. It was, they're so good. So when I was in, um, Thailand I had this pair of overalls I loved having it but they were denim so they took up heaps of space so I just invested in the invested they cost me ten dollars on Depop but I just got this um overalls that are made of a really light material and they're gonna be perfect for going to the beach and wearing over some but they roll up real small that's also another thing always roll your clothes rolling makes you be able to fit so much more stuff in everyone I've told to start rolling their clothes they do it and they're like oh this is actually so much better except my boyfriend because he doesn't want to admit that I am correct but he knows he knows that rolling is better and then finally I have one Taylor Swift shirt two Taylor Swift shirts yeah I probably don't need these but um I want to be wearing them I want to wear something to a concert that isn't just active wear so I've, at least I've got these and I just can wear them with denim shorts I know some people are going all out with their costumes but I'm just gonna have to wait till she comes to Australia to be able to do that I didn't think I really need to show you like all of my clothes but that's basically the gist I've probably got like a week's worth of outfits here um, a week's worth of underwear and socks and then just sort of do laundry as I go I'll probably just buy some washing powder when I get to Mexico and use that to wash my stuff in the sink find a laundromat if I want but yeah that is everything that's in my bag will I be cold definitely will I get sick of all of these clothes within two weeks a hundred percent but will I be super thankful as I like walk through the airport with my really light bag and I see other people struggling with all their shit definitely so I'm really happy with these choices uh stay tuned because you never know in like two videos time you might see me being like fuck this I'm going to buy a whole bunch of stuff fingers crossed not I feel like I've really refined my packing technique over the years I've made mistakes I've learned from them mostly, hopefully. I think my key takeaways from this video are really think about what you need. Yes, you wanna look good in pictures, obviously, but at the same time, is it worth carrying around a whole heap of shit? Not really. Travel isn't really about like getting the cool pics for Instagram. Yeah, it's a bonus, but I'd much, much, much prefer to just be walking around in active wear comfortable than getting, oh, I'm in a flubby dress in front of this taco place, that kind of thing. Uh, my second takeaway is I just love taking like a little tote bag on an airplane and then just being able to shove everything in the seat in front of me and not worry about having a bunch of stuff. And my third tip is roll, 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 roll everything because it just makes life so much better. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what. Um, I'll link every single product I mentioned, or at least I'll try to. I'll link it all down below. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. You're a legend if you are still here. And um, love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.